I'm teacher Marsha and for today's activity we're gonna play doctor using the materials that you have at home such as a stuffed animal um, maybe you have a doctor kit like I have here um, based on the book going to the doctor Jack gets hurt he sprains his arm and his sister is also ill so one way that you can do um, with the materials that you have at home, um, such as I have here, I have a stuffed animal, and it's a girl, and her name is Princess. I also going to use a stethoscope that I have and an otoscope that my daughter has because she has a doctor kit. Um, you don't have to use the materials if you don't have them at home. You can use spoons, um, any old utensils, and an old bandage. So what I did here with Princess, Princess was running around the house and she got hurt. And she sprained her ankle. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna role play and we're gonna pretend that her, she sprained her ankle. So we're gonna wrap it like what they usually do at the doctor. We sprain it. And we're gonna turn it like this. This is pretty long. We're gonna wrap it because her ankle hurts. We wanna make sure she's okay. So we're gonna wrap it similar to what they do to the doctor. So she's all better and you will role play and you will pretend that you're your doctor and you're gonna check her breathing, make sure she's okay. This one makes sound, it's pretty fun. My daughter loves this stethoscope. And then you will use an otoscope to check her ears to make sure that she's okay. Um, this is a fun activity, especially when your daughter or your son is gonna visit the doctor. Um, you can assure them that they're gonna be okay and then you can talk about the, you know, the tools that they use at, at the doctors and um, you will explain to them what they're used for. So you can also practice with your child. Maybe you could pretend that your child got, you know, sprained his arm. Um, you can also use a, a band-aids. Um, and this is a fun activity. I hope you guys enjoy my activity. See you next time.